Drishti IAS is pleased to bring you a program mastering mains answer writing, targeting answer writing in civil services main examination. We will be alternatively covering GS papers 1, 2 and 3 through this program. For GS 4, please watch our program Ethics, Definitions and Concepts. The link for it is mentioned in the description below. So what is the structure of the program? We focus on a question, link the question to the syllabus and assess the weightage of the topic. We then learn how to approach the question, followed by structure of the answer, writing the actual answer, and then we conclude the episode by looking at questions that have been asked in the previous year's examination. Let us look at the question we will be discussing in today's episode. What are novel viruses? Discuss its threats and measures to deal with them. The question can be linked to the topic awareness in the fields of biotechnology that is part of GS paper 3. We can assess the weightage of the topic from the graph displayed on the screen. Let us begin by learning how to approach the question. In general, there are two things we must understand with respect to a question. A. The underlying theme of the question and B. What is or are being asked about that question. Let us look at the question again. What are novel viruses? Discuss its threats and measures to deal with them. The underlying theme of the above question is novel viruses. About this theme, we must discuss two things. Novel viruses and how they are different from viruses. Threats and measures to deal with them. To answer the given question, let us first understand the meaning of the command word discuss. Discuss simply means to cover broadly, mentioning strengths, weaknesses and positives, negatives. Mention causes consequences as well. Now let us focus on structuring the answer. The first part of the answer will be the introduction of the answer, which will include introduction of novel viruses and how they are different from viruses. The second part of the answer, that is the body, will be divided into two parts for this question. Threats and measures to deal with them. And lastly, we provide a way forward. Now, let us write the actual answer. But before we begin, we would like to make it very clear that the answer provided here is a representative answer. That is, how the actual answer may look like. It can be adapted or modified as per your own natural style of writing, whether paragraph form or short sentences or bullets or diagrams. We have also taken certain liberties with the word limit by including certain additional information in the answer for your comprehensive understanding. So without much ado, let us write the answer now. A virus is a sub-microscopic infectious agent that replicates only inside the living cells of an organism. Such a virus that has not previously been recorded is called novel viruses. It can be isolated from its natural reservoir or isolated as a result of spreading to an animal or human host where the virus had not been identified before. Well-known examples of novel viruses are the Zika virus transmitted by mosquitoes, bird flu viruses, MERS from camel and novel COVID-19 virus which caused the ongoing pandemic and is being associated with bats. Now we write about the threats and the measures to deal with them. Threats from novel viruses. Impact on health. Novel viruses can cause large-scale outbreaks of in infectious diseases that can become a pandemic. It greatly increases morbidity and mortality over a wide geographic area and causes significant economic, social and political disruption. Economic impact. Viruses outbreak cause pandemic to have a negative impact on business confidence, financial markets and the travel sector, including disruption to supply chains. This holds the overall economic growth. Global economic growth undergoes a downturn decreasing the GDP growth rate of most countries. Causes loss of jobs and economic hardships, especially for the lowest strata of society. The quality of educational and academic activities has to be compromised. Social threats. Lockdown and social distancing measures to prevent the spread of novel viruses like COVID-19 cause decline in social capital value, that is, 
relationships between individuals or groups and the resulting ability to secure or obtain resources or information. Impact on mental well-being An increase in levels of anxiety, aggression, depression, forgetfulness and hallucinations are possible psychological effects of isolation. Measures to combat adversities from normal virus outbreak A whole of society approach is needed to counter pandemic due to normal viruses. Significant role is to be played by all the sectors, especially the health sector. Government, individuals, families and communities should work together in mitigating the effects of a virus pandemic. Administrative measures Role of the government They must identify, appoint and lead the coordinating body for pandemic preparedness. Enact or modify legislation and policies required to sustain and optimize pandemic preparedness. Initiate capacity building and coordinate efforts across all sectors and prioritize and guide the allocation and targeting of resources judicially. Filling key gaps in information and knowledge. Initiate scientific exploration to understand the nature of novel viruses and develop vaccines with the coordination of scientific organizations and pharma companies. Health sector. In addition to raising awareness of the risk and potential health consequences of a virus pandemic, the health sector should be ready to provide reliable information on the risk, severity and progression of a pandemic, prioritize and continue the provision of healthcare during a virus pandemic, enact steps to reduce the spread of the virus outbreak in the community, protect and support healthcare workers during a pandemic. Individuals and families. During a virus pandemic, it is important that households take measures to ensure that they have access to accurate information, food, water and medicine. For families, access to reliable information from sources such as WHO and local and national governments are essential. Way forward. Dealing with pandemics would require a multi-pronged approach, ranging from mathematical analysis to the ability to rapidly develop drugs and vaccines. Given the growth potential of India's biotech sector, it is time to put in place a robust public-private partnership model that can transform the health services sector in the country, covering disease surveillance, diagnostic kit availability, and accelerated vaccine development. Capacity to contain a virus outbreak depends on the ability to identify cases and contacts in the community on clinical criteria while ensuring smart surveillance on inward travelers, isolate and identify the causative virus, treat severe cases while counseling mild cases. And finally, let us look at the questions asked from the previous year's examinations. In 2019, the following questions were asked. How has India benefited from the contributions of Sir M. Vishweshwaraya and Dr. M. S. Swaminathan in the fields of water engineering and agricultural science, respectively. What is India's plan to have its own space station and how will it benefit our space program? What is the Cyberdome project? Explain how it can be useful in controlling internet crimes in India. How can biotechnology improve the living standards of farm? In 2018, the following questions were asked. Discuss the work of Bose-Einstein statistics done by Professor Satendra Nath Bose and show how it revolutionized the field of physics. Why is there so much activity in the field of biotechnology in our country? How has this activity benefited the field of biopharma? With growing energy needs, should India keep on expanding its nuclear energy program? Discuss the facts and fears associated with nuclear energy. In 2017, the following questions were asked. Stem cell therapy is gaining popularity in India to treat a wide variety of medical conditions, including leukemia, thalassemia, damaged cornea, and several burns. Describe briefly what stem cell therapy is and what advantages it has over other treatments. India has achieved remarkable successes in unmanned space missions, including the Chandrayaan and Mars Orbiter mission, but has not ventured into manned space missions. What are the main obstacles to launching a manned space mission, both in terms of technology and logistics? 
examined critically. Give an account of the growth and development of nuclear science and technology in India. What is the advantage of a fast breeder reactor program in India? In 2016, the following questions were asked. Discuss India's achievements in the field of space science and technology. How the application of this technology has helped India in its socio-economic development. Why is nanotechnology one of the key technologies of the 21st century? Describe the salient features of Indian government's mission on nanoscience and technology and the scope of its application in the development process of the country. In 2015, the following questions were asked. What do you understand by standard positioning system and precision positioning system in the GPS era? Discuss the advantages India perceives from its ambitious IRNSS program employing just seven satellites. What are the areas of prohibitive labor that can be sustainably managed by robots? Discuss the initiatives that can propel research in premier research institutes for substantive and gainful innovation. India's traditional knowledge digital library, which has a database containing formatted information on more than 2 million medicinal formulations, is proving a powerful weapon in the country's fight against erroneous patents. Discuss the pros and cons of making this database publicly available under open source licensing. In 2014, the following questions were asked. Scientific research in Indian universities is declining because a career in science is not as attractive as our business professions, engineering or administration, and the universities are becoming consumer-oriented, critically commended. Can overuse and free availability of antibiotics without a doctor's prescription be contributors to the emergence of drug-resistant diseases in India? What are the available mechanisms for monitoring and control? Critically discuss the various issues involved. In a globalized world, intellectual property rights assume significance and are a source of litigation. Broadly distinguish between the terms copyrights, patents and trade secrets. And lastly, in 2013, the following questions were asked. Bring out the circumstances in 2005 which forced amendment to Section 3D in the Indian Patent Law, 1970. Discuss how it has been utilized by the Supreme Court in its judgment in rejecting Novartis patent application for Glebeck. Briefly discuss the pros and cons of the decision. What do you understand by fixed dose drug combinations? Discuss their merits and demerits. What do you understand about the Empire Decision Review System in cricket? Discuss its various components. Explain how silicon tape on the edge of a bat may fool the system. With this, we conclude today's episode of Mastering Mains Answer Writing. Until next time, stay safe and thank you. To watch our videos in Hindi, subscribe to our Hindi YouTube channel, Drishti IAS.